This is the final type of heather that you're likely to come across and this is a plant called cross-leaved heath. Uh, it's an indicator of damp heathland so the fact that we've got it here tells us that we've now moved into a much wetter habitat. It's actually personally my favourite of all the heathers, it's a very sort of distinctive looking thing. The, the flowers are vaguely similar to bell heather, they've got this sort of inflated look to them but they're a much more delicate pink colour and actually the colour changes through the flower so it starts with a sort of darker pink at one end and moving to white at the lips. Now what you see with the cross-leaved heath are these rows of four leaves in a perfect cross. The Latin is Erica tetralix, meaning four leaves, and it's very, very different to the other ones we've seen earlier on with these sort of the branch-like clusters of leaves coming out. These are individual leaves in little whirls of four. It's almost like a bed straw with this sort of structure of the leaves coming up one by one. They're also very minutely hairy, which gives them this sort of silvery look, and the silverness goes all the way up to the top and you see it around these leaves on the flowers as well. When you get a lot of this plant it can give the whole landscape a sort of silvery white appearance um, and it's very distinctive from a distance.